All right, uh, didn't, I couldn't find a lot of videos on the, I saw some new canoe um, videos for the new canoe Frontier. And a couple of them had trolling motors, but I didn't find much on the Classic. I have the new canoe Classic because I'm mostly a uh, big game hunt out of mine. Um, and I use it to get into some of the smaller bayous and cuts here in South Louisiana where a bigger boat can't get. So, uh, so this was better for me. And so since there's not a lot of videos on it, I thought I'd do a little video showing how mine is. I just put a trolling motor on it and we're going to see how it works. Now I, mine, I have, I just set a battery tray in there. There's nothing, uh, it's not bolted down or anything. It's just the weight of the battery. If I flip, I'll just clip the battery into one of these, uh, tethers or I'll just let the battery go to the bottom and paddle back. Um, but I have a, I have, I basically kind of custom did a little seat on mine, a swivel seat. Uh, I just have a piece of uh, extruded aluminum that I had laying around and I uh, screwed it into the uh, factory holes and um, mounted this seat to it. It's a lot more comfortable than uh, the little kayak seat. Um, and then I put this on it. This is a Newport Marine. It came from Amazon. It's a whole lot less expensive than the name brand like Minkota. Um, this was, I think I paid a hundred and 79 for a 55 pound thrust uh, trolling motor and the good thing about these is that you can get these with the 30 inch shaft in a high thrust motor like a 55 whereas if you go to Academy or you know Walmart or one of those the biggest you're gonna get at least in the store with a 30 inch shaft is gonna be the little uh, what was it I think it was a 28 or 30 pound thrust I can't remember but it was sm a lot smaller than this one and this one ha does have the telescoping handle and it also has a battery, uh, a readout on it to show the battery charge that's left. So anyway, so that's it. It's a new canoe classic 12, the 12 foot. Um, and I'm gonna take it out today and test it and we'll see how she does. And uh, I'll GPS it, see what kind of speed I get out of it. Um, I'm not looking to go real fast with it, but uh, I'll let y'all know how fast it does go. It'll be me. I weigh 180, uh, a little over 180 pounds, and my daughter will be with me. She weighs about 40. So there'll be a 200, you know, um, well over 200 pounds in the boat uh, when we test it. Um, so that's it. I will try and test it while I'm moving, and maybe I can uh, bring my camera with me out there and, and show y'all what's going on. So, um, so that's it for now. Okay, we're here. I got my co-pilot, Madison. Say hi, Madison. Hi. Okay, and we're going out here into this little lake, and we're gonna see how she does. Got her all ready to go. So, you ready? Ready. Let's do it. I'll film when yeah. I'm out there. All right, we're out here. We're going. Uh, let's see what I'm setting them on right now. I'm on setting one place. right now. And then my new canoe. Classic 12 uh, with a 55 pound thrust trolling motor on back. And uh, I have 220 pounds between me and my daughter, and maybe a little more, maybe 225, 220. And that doesn't include the gear and battery, the trolling motor, and all that good stuff. So I'm not sure exactly how much weight we got. Um, on setting one, we are going two miles per hour right now. And pretty far out. Let's see, I'm gonna bump her up to setting three. Setting three is a really nice setting on this one. Um, we're going three miles per hour now. It's still nice and quiet, because like I said, I big game hunt, so I'm trying to get into spots really quietly, and it is a little windy. I wouldn't have these uh, this choppiness out in the swamp, so it makes a little bit of water noise with the boat, but not too bad. Uh, We'll see, we'll kind of go into these a little bit. We'll kick her up to speed four. So that's the fourth speed. A little faster, but still reading three miles per hour on our GPS. And that's, that's wide open. And we are going four miles per hour. So that's, we're gonna slow down in a second, sweetie, don't worry. So four miles per hour is top speed with a new canoe Classic 12 
a 55 pound thrust trolling motor. It's not a windy day, so I'm not going against any wind. There's no current in this. It's a protected water, so there's no current. Um, it is, there's a little bit of chop because it's just got a little breeze and it's kind of wide open out here. So it's got plenty of room to build up a little bit of a chop, but it's really nothing. Um, but that's what we're looking at. Got a little weight going back there. 55 pound thrust trolling motor, new canoe classic 12. 220 or 25 pounds of occupancy not including the trolling motor and the battery and that's really all the gear I have besides a camera and a water bottle so not much and so that is it me and my daughter are gonna spend some time out here riding around enjoying the day it's so pretty out here today I'm gonna bring over here you want to go pick some of those yellow flowers right over there off those lilies and I see a purple one too and so uh so that's it it's almost one pop it's it's like on let's see where am i right now that's off so on one and two, it shows two miles per hour on setting one and two i don't think it's uh you don't want to go there okay so anyway so that's it now i'm gonna go enjoy the day stop filming